The first method that should support us in making a location decision is called the factor rating method. Let's have a look at it, how it works. So we have a seven-step procedure for the factor rating method. First of all, we identify all the relevant factors. We decide which are the important things of our locations. I write this in the following way. Uh, we have each factor has a number, a factor 1, 2, 3, 4, and this goes until n. So in total we have n factors. And I write it like this, i equals 1, i is an index, and we use it as a placeholder for an arbitrary factor. So in step number 2, we have to decide which factor is how important. So we assign a weighting for each factor, and I write it like this, w for the weighting and w of i, this is the weighting of the factor i. And i can be any number between 1 to n. Uh, and it means we are doing this step number 2 for all the factors numbered from 1 to n. What is here crucial that the sum of the weights equals 100. In the end, it's the same like I'm doing for our course assessments. We have several assessments in our course, one final exam and uh, four coursework assessments. And then I have a weight for each assessment, 70% for the final exam and all the coursework in total, 30%. And that's a very, very comparable method. In step number three, we decide how we want to measure our factors that are important. Um, it is crucial that we measure all the factors in the same way, yeah? that we have the same dimension for measuring uh, this. And a typical measure that is often used for practical cases, in particular when we have some qualitative factors, is a kind of point scale, a rating between 1 and 10 or 1 to 5. You know these from all the app stores, product ratings, often you have a rating between 1 and 5 points and um, here 5 is the highest rating and 1 is the lowest rating. This is just an example, this point scale, you could also use other, other ratings. For example, uh, in my coursework assessments, I always assign you points between 1 and 100. In step number four, we actually look at each location and evaluate, um, we, we uh, rate each factor and give it one value from our point score. Step number five, we just multiply the weight with the score and add this up for each location and in the end we select the winning location, the location that we really want to choose to establish our facility and this is the location with the highest score. Okay, let's have a look at an example. Let's have a look at Antonio's restaurant. Antonio wants to open a new Italian restaurant and he already identified the seven most important factors for this new restaurant, in his opinion. The factors are appearance of the place, ease of expansion, proximity to market, customer parking, access to the location, for example, uh, how easy is it to, to enter the place uh, if you are bound to a wheelchair or if you have a stroller, for example. Um, what is the competition and how good is the labor supply? Now he found three locations that he wants to have a, a closer look and now the first thing is that he wants to do or that he has to do, he has to decide how important are these seven factors when you compare the factors with each other. So appearance is 
twice, impo twice as important as ease of expansion. And what you also can see, summing up these seven factors, the weight of the seven factors gives a total of 100. Now he said, to keep it simple, he wants to assign a rating of each factor on a scale, on a point scale from 1 to 5, where 5 is the highest, the best weighting. Though the appearance at location 1 is really great, however the appearance at location number 3 is mediocre, not very good. Um, now, this is repeated, this evaluation, for all the other factors in the same way, using the same point scale. Now we have always the same point scale here. And now we can do the weighting. In order to calculate the weighted score of location number one for the appearance, we just multiply the weight of this factor, 20, times the score of location one, five. So five times 20 is 100. We repeat this for location number two. We multiply the score three with the weight 3 times 20 is 60 for location 3, 2 times 20 is 40, and we can repeat this for all the other factors. Now we are almost done. Let's just sum up the weighted score of each location. Uh, you see location 1, 380, location 2, 305, location 3, 340. And now what's the outcome of the method? Well, we said according to the scale that we used, 5 is the highest. And then the location with the highest point value should be selected as the future restaurant of Antonio. So Antonio should, if he's only looking at the factor method, select location number 1 as his future restaurant.